beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this hair, this two ponytail. I didn't, I didn't die this time, y'all. Y'all didn't, I didn't record it to, for y'all to see me die. But we made it through. I'm not mad. And here is the finished look. If you like what you see, stay tuned. Keep watching, and we can get into it. Before I even start, I just want y'all to know this fan that y'all hear in the background is going to be on, and that's just that. She's going to be on. You're going to hear. Her. I'm not recording without no fan. It's hot. But that's the way. Hey. <laughs> okay, I think this to record this video a while ago, and then I got looked at the footage, and it was just terrible. I guess it, was, it just was bad. I think it was a bad time, and like with everything going on, so that's great. So here we are to do it again. So this wig has already been worn. So I guess this will be turn into how to reapply a wig, and then I'm gonna style it. And do you'll see how I'm gonna style it, girl. Don't worry. It's going to be how to reinstall a wig that you've already worn. I think a lot of people have asked me for that. And it's the same way you put it on when for the first time. I promise. It's going to be easy. We're going to figure it out. So, here she is. It's already cut to my head. And this is all the hair information will be in the description box. But I'm not sure how long this is. I think it's 24 inches, I want to say. But, um, yeah, my hair is in a little low ponytail. I had braids in, but I just took them out yesterday because I just could not do it no more. I'm not a braid person. I like to itch my head. So to get started on this wig, I'm going to go ahead and spray my Even Tinted Lace Spray in the shade Light Warm Brown. And I get this from my local beauty supply store. I think I want to use Gotta Be Glued instead of the spray today. But usually, this is what I would do to prep. I would go ahead and just spray a light layer of Gotta Be Spray. And then wait for that to get a little tacky. But I know it's not going to hold the wig. I go and put the wig on and then it sits right on where it was. The spray was, if that makes sense. And then I begin to spray down and um, put it on like as I, as... I would normally, but I do a first little spray so I can get the, the lace to sit down. So what I'm going to do now is, um, instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and use the Gotta Be Glued Gel. I have a little tube of it that I found in my room, and I was like, wow, I think that this lasts a little longer than the spray does because it's thicker. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little light layer around the perimeter of my head. But now I have my fan going, so it's getting a little cool. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to take time to go ahead and put the wig on and this will be my first initial layer but then I think I'm going to put some gotta be over on top of it and blow dry it to make sure everything is how it's supposed to be so I feel like my fan over here is doing its job okay so I have my wig and now it's just time to make sure I put it where I put the the gel and I didn't use a lot of gel either that that's to be noted can I please have this hair okay so now I'm just going to make sure everything is laying down, there's no straight hairs. I'm just going to fiddle with it and try to get it into place as much as possible. Okay, now that it's kind of held down some parts that I think need to be held down for me, so like say for example this side right here, it's not all the way down as the ear tab is up, but this little section right here gives me a nice placeholder for how I want my wig to lay. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can get the other side to do that as well, and it kind of is. Except for the ear tab, the ear tab is, you know, doing our thing over here. And then I also like to have a middle part when I'm installing so I can make sure everything is how where it's supposed to be laying. I want to try the new Gotta Be Spray, but I just haven't seen it in stores yet. When I do, I got you. I mean, I could order it, but when I see it in stores, I got you, I promise. And then speaking of Gotta Be Spray, it's time to do the second portion. I have my spray, my spray bottle. This is not my spray bottle. This is a blow dryer. I have my blow dryer right here, and... Um, it's, it's going to be on the coolest setting and before I turn it on I'm just going to go ahead and spray the area I would like to lay down just so I can get it ready. And I'm going to try to do this small section by small section because I really want this to, to last for at least a couple days. I think Gotta Be or slash Glueless installs only last about a day and a half unless you're just super careful and don't do anything with your head. So now that that's sprayed I'm going to take the end of a rat tail comb and just go ahead and begin to blow dry. As you can see, this is pretty melted so far, and now it's just only after a few seconds of blow drying. So I'm just going to continue those steps on the other side of my hair, and um, I'll come back when I'm all finished. Okay, so we are all sprayed on and secured. This is what we're looking like. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hair. The plan for this is to do like a two ponytail thing. I think we'll put them like up here. Like right here, I don't know yet. But it's gonna be two ponytails. I got some ballies that match my shirt. Got some ballies for my shirt. And it's gonna be a look, even though I'm going literally nowhere and it's literally almost 11 o'clock at night. But it's gonna be cute and I'm excited. So time to do baby hair first. I like to do my baby hair before I put my hair into ponytails because I just feel like it's easier. Also, I don't cut my baby hair anymore or as much anymore. So I just like to make everything flow together. That's what gonna do. So now I'm just gonna take some gel and just try to mold out how I want the front of my hair to look. And also, I'm gonna have to eventually wet the hair as well because I I don't want to have a struggle dealing with the half up half downs. I really think it'll be easier that it's two smaller sections than just than just one big ponytail. So I'm hoping this is easier. Let me stop talking. I'm gonna start doing my baby hair. Use my wet line. And I'm going to zoom through this because you guys have seen me do my baby hair a million times. But I will leave the footage in because I know you guys like to see it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to get into. Okay, my baby hair are now done besides my sideburns. I'm going to do those last. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put a scarf on my edges so I can try to keep them in their shape. So I'm combing it as thin as I can. And I'm trying to get it only on my edges and um, in the lace and not much of the hair. Because I really, 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 really want to be able to move my baby hair into the ponytail as I make it. Now that my scarf is on and... It's also kind of not doing what I wanted to do. Let me move it down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start separating off the hair I went for my ponytails in the front. I'm just gonna try to leave a little anchor down because I like to make sure that my hair is going to stay on my head. I don't know. I just would hate to put this ponytail in my whole head, my whole whole wig just rip off. It's not fun. So I just like to pull a little extra hair from the bottom down just so it can stay a little bit better. This is not a full um. Six, um, 13 by 6 frontal it's like a it's a really thin side and then it goes into this deep parting so I'm going to take advantage of this deep parting and try not to part too far back so that you can see where I did that at because I don't have much um, to go off of so now I've got my water bottle I got the Sally's but I'm gonna see if I can find one and link it down below for you guys um, and now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna add a little more water. I just wanna add too much because water does um, lift the gotta be. So just be real careful with that. I'm gonna add a little bit of gel. And while I really meant a little bit, can we acknowledge that? I always be like a little bit. And then I do like a whole gallop a brush. And we're just gonna brush it into place. I can feel that this just came up. So now I gotta take off my scarf and fix my hair real quick. And then I'll come back to fix the ponytail. But I really wanna emphasize that it's not. I don't think this gotta be is strong enough to hold everything. So. I'm about to retire my scarf and maybe tie it in the front so that it can be tighter. But yeah, just notice that. So I'm fix up. So I tried to wrap it up better this time. So I hope this time is a lot better. I'm going to go back and grab the hair like I wanted to last time. Okay, I'm going to do it again, but I'm not mad at it this time. I just want it to be better. So I'm going to put two rubber bands on this time. And now I'll just come back when it's on because you guys know how to put it stuff in a ponytail. There's no need to see me get mad about the shit. Like, <laughs> we can just act like I came back and everything was perfect and I had a great time. Because, yeah, if you saw my last half up, half down, then you know how I can get during this. And I don't even gotta be like that. Ain't even gotta be like that. So it's not. And I'll be back when this is done. So, yeah, no, I wasn't exploiting myself for views again this time. I just, yep. Oh, shit. My nail just broke. I'm gonna glue it back on when I'm finished. Until then, let's go back to the hair before I, I piss myself off. Um, this side looks a lot. This side looks a lot better than this side. And I think it's solely because I just did not do it on camera, and I really tried to get this to look good. But I'm just not gonna get mad tonight. <laughs> so like anything that's not perfect to me or up to my standards is just like whatever. I guess it just won't be tonight. And of course, to everybody else, it means it's gonna be good. So you know, maybe this is a sign I need to be hard on myself. But it, we can take the scarf off now. Okay, so now it's time to fix the baby hair. 
And I pulled this out because I was just scared my hair wasn't going to look right. So, and I knew it wasn't. So I'm going to go ahead and add some edge booster to it and just slick it back into the right position and then hide it into that ponytail. So now my baby hair are done and my ponytails are really fucked up, but I'm just not, I'm just going to hope that the bollies will like make up for it being fucked up, you know? Like it's like, oh, can't even tell because she has on bollies. <laughs> this looks so bad. And I know you're probably thinking I'm tripping, but look at this shitty, uh, but you're probably looking at it like ain't shit wrong with it, but I promise it would. I'm going to just put on some bollies. I got these from my local Beast Fly store and I mean like, should you even be wearing bollies if you don't even know where to get bollies at? Like, I don't know. We should, we should question that first. I had two white bollies and one orange one, and then that's the look. I think I'm gonna put on a scarf so I can try to flatten this front area out so at least that can look kind of good. And then I'll be back with the finished look. But yeah, um, I'm trying really hard not to be hard on myself because I'm always thinking like everything I do is terrible, but it's really not terrible. It's just I didn't feel like putting much effort into these ponytails. I just didn't wanna be mad. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use some gel and try to brush down the area and then throw a scarf on top. And then I'll come back and like, I don't know, like five minutes, maybe ten, to see if that flattened out everything and made everything look a little better. Okay, so I scooted back a little bit so you can see the shirt, so you get the look, the effect. I'm gonna take my scarf off now. Hopefully, under here is just a masterpiece, and I can just end the video here. That's what I'm really hoping for. It is flat. That's that's nice. I'm gonna spread out these these ponytails a little bit. Here's what the sideburns look like and everything. That all looks so cute and like a ten year old. I think I am going to add a little bit of concealer on the part before I finish out. That was so much concealer. I didn't even realize. How about I'm in focus right now while I'm talking? Throw on some earrings, did my baby hair, finish that up. Hair is now flat, I got a little concealer on my part. A little too much concealer on my part if I'm being honest. But here's the final look. How do you guys feel? I feel cutesy. I love feeling cutesy. But I, I can't look cute all the time. I got a, a, the biggest cheeks you've ever seen. I need some adult in my life. So here's the adult that we're looking for because I can't be out here looking 10. You know, for me, I'm grown. All information on this hair will be in the description box. Please follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, BBBAJalea. Almost to 10K. I'll probably be at 10K by the time this video goes up. So thank you so much for 10K in advance. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, beautiful. So in love